Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be talking about treatments for warts, skin tags, and puncture wounds. Let's start, at, start our discussion with wart treatment. Warts are caused by a virus. Because of this, they can spread to other locations on your body and to other people. Your best overall defense against warts is a strong immune system. It is important to remember to wash your hands after you have been touching your wart to keep the virus from spreading. When treating your wart, gently sand the outer layers of the wart to allow the, your treatment of choice easier access to the core of it. The thing to remember about warts is that they need to be smothered. A lot of people have used duct tape all by itself on warts to kill them with great success. Some other treatments to try are dandelion sap and milkweed sap that you rub onto the wart twice a day and then apply a piece of duct tape over the entire area to smother the wart. Or you can try using fresh pineapple juice, not canned, fresh. Soak the wart in pineapple juice and let it dry twice a day. This treatment can make the surrounding area quite sensitive though, so be careful to get the pineapple juice only on the wart and not the surrounding area. Another good choice is apple cider vinegar. Take a small cotton ball that you've soaked with apple cider vinegar and place it on the wart and then wrap it with a cloth bandage. Do this twice a day for best results. A variation on this treatment is to use lemon juice instead of the apple cider vinegar. And for an even stronger kick, you can crush a vitamin C tablet and make a paste of lemon juice and vitamin C to apply to your wart and then cover with a cloth bandage. Because of basil's antiviral properties, it makes a good choice to use for warts. What you do is crush the fresh basil leaves until they're really juicy. Apply this to the wart and cover with a cloth bandage. Apply once a day until the wart's gone. And finally, there's the honey cure. Manuka honey from New Zealand is best, but other honeys will work. Simply apply a thick coat of honey to the wart and cover with a cloth bandage. Repeat daily until the wart is gone. Next, we'll explore some treatments for skin tags. Now, skin tags are small growths or flaps of skin, which can be found anywhere on the body. But in particular, they're found around the neck, eyes, underarms, breasts, and groin region. Skin tags are harmless, but a lot of people don't like them on their bodies and so wish to remove them. If the skin tag is large enough, you can tie the skin tag off next to the skin with some sewing thread. Tighten this as much as possible to cut off the blood supply to the skin tag. Your skin tag will fall off within a day or two, like magic. If the skin tag is too close to the skin that you can't get a piece of thread around it, then you can apply a drop of tea tree oil to it. This works very well. All you do is soak a Q-tip in tea tree oil and gently apply it to the skin tag three times a day. Using a Q-tip is important because you don't want to get the tea tree oil anywhere else but on the skin tag as it has a tendency to be a bit irritating to the skin. Another thing to try is apple cider vinegar. First wash and dry the area around the skin tag. Then put some apple cider vinegar on a cotton ball and put it on the skin tag and hold it in place for 15 minutes. Repeat this process three times a day until the skin tag darkens, dries, and eventually falls off. Don't use apple cider vinegar near your eyes, nor tea tree oil. Don't use tea tree oil around your eyes either. The next thing to try is oregano oil. You can make oregano oil by putting some fresh oregano 
into a small container of olive oil and letting it sit for several weeks and then straining the oil. Or you can use oregano essential oil that is diluted with some olive oil. Put the oregano oil directly onto the skin tag three times a day. Allow it to air dry before you cover the skin tag with a bandage. Repeat all of this until the skin tag dries up and falls off. One last thing to try is liquid iodine. What you do is you paint the skin tag with the iodine once a day. Avoid putting iodine onto the surrounding skin as it will stain like a tattoo and take a great deal of time to disappear. Um, the iodine method would be the last choice that I'd choose, but it does work. Now that we have discussed, now we will discuss the issue of puncture wounds. What I mean by this is, is, the, is like stepping on a rusty nail and things of that nature. And how to deal with tetanus. The first thing to do with a puncture wound of any nature is to clean out the wound thoroughly. Let it bleed a lot to help with this process. Then apply hydrogen peroxide to the wound until it stops bubbling. Next, you soak the wound in Epsom salts and hot water for 30 minutes, three times a day. Then dry the wound off and using a Q-tip Rub tea tree oil onto the wound. Let this air dry. Now an old time and very effective remedy is to use kerosene on the puncture wound after you have done the 30 minute Epsom salt soak in the hot water. If you can get to a doctor, now is the time to go and get a tetanus shot. If you are in a societal collapse situation or some other situation where getting a tetanus shop is unlikely, then you can do the following. If you suspect you've been exposed to tetanus, there are certain common symptoms you can watch for. The most frequent symptom is a stiff jaw, followed by a stiff neck, and then muscular stiffness and spasms throughout the body. Other symptoms include difficulty swallowing, restlessness and irritability, fever, headache, and sore throat. Symptoms can be localized with muscle contractions in the part of the body where the infection began, or it can be generalized, affecting the entire body. Tetanus symptoms can appear anywhere from a few days to several weeks after tetanus bacteria enters the body. Don't wait for symptoms to develop. Get a tetanus shot if you can, or if you can't. Then to help avoid tetanus, take a tablespoon of colloidal silver three times a day and take 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C every four hours and take four cloves of raw garlic or five capsules of garlic every day and one capsule of milk thistle daily. Well that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest video make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care!